If this fight happens, it will be extremely painful for you. Theatricality and deception. Powerful agents for Mayweather Pacquiao. I am boxing's reckoning. Perhaps he's wondering why you should announce a fight without the proper buzz. No, it's not going to happen. He's scared. I don't want to see it. Fuck that fight. No. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Oh, what a difference a month makes. Now, I made this video. It's not targeted at any one person, but I will use examples because I keep it real on my channel. Mayweather Pacquiao, not officially announced. It's not a done deal, anything like that. However, Dan Rayfield just reported and, and posted on his um, Instagram, or excuse me, Twitter, a busy morning has caused me to hereby raise the Mayweather Pacquiao threat level to red. There is a severe risk this fight will be finalized. And he also said, basically everyone involved in Mayweather Pacquiao, both sides, simply waiting for Floyd to announce. All are calm. Negotiation complete. Now, the thing that's funny to me about this is because... Ain't this the same dude that said, no way in hell this fight will happen. It's not going to happen. Aram and uh, Pacquiao have done all the work and CBS and Les Moonves has stepped in and also said that Cotto versus, he's hearing strong chatter that Cotto versus Mayweather 2 is imminent. I don't know if you guys know what imminent means, but um, it just basically inevitable. This is the same dude that said that. And like I said on my Instagram, people people don't forget <laughs> in my super bad voice. It's just funny, man. And Dan Rayfield, this is, you know what I mean? I, don't, I, I met him in Denver, seen him in Denver or whatever, so I don't have no issue with him personally. But that's the, that's the thing about it when it comes to journalism. That's why it pays to give a fair shake, be objective, play both sides of the fence, and be ambidextrous when when you're talking because a lot of times people have these like premeditated preconceived notions and and biases and and feelings so the stuff that they they report it comes out like that you know what i'm saying and i mean this dude talk about the fight won't happen now a month later saying oh threat level red and all this shit but he was the same dude making jokes and, and saying like oh he, Pacquiao sings, he's going to announce it during the Grammys. Um, Mayweather's going to announce it on Monday Night Raw on WWE and all kinds of shit like that. Saying this was not happen. I don't believe it will happen. Now, getting off the Dan Rayfield subject. He's, he's just a prime example because he's in the spotlight. Now, a lot of you motherfuckers that ain't in the spotlight did the same thing, if not worse. Dan Rayfield, at least... He didn't, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't calling Floyd Gay Runner a bitch and scared and stuff like that. He was just stating his opinion. But some of these motherfuckers on here got on on the online saying, this person's scared, this ain't going to happen, just all kinds of shit. I'm not watching the fight. I don't want to see the fight. And if this fight is, in fact, announced, it's going to break the internet. People are going to go berserk. A lot of you motherfuckers are going to tuck your tail. You said you wouldn't watch the fight. You didn't care about the fight, but I guarantee fucking to you, if this shit is on and popping, you're going to be first in line to, to watch the, the press tours and the weigh-ins and, and watch the fight, whether you stream it or whatever the fuck you do, you're going to watch. But a lot of these people said, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to watch it. It's been too long. It's been too long. No, nah, I'm not going to watch it. Fucking shut the fuck up. You know you're lying. You know what I'm saying? One of the biggest fights, if not the biggest fight in boxing history based on the, the buildup and whatnot. So, man, me on my channel, keep fucking with me. I give it to you guys straight. Like, you watch my old videos. I said they are talking about making Mayweather Kodo 2. That is the latest rumor. But I also tell you in those videos, if this is true, this is how I feel. And I, I, and I firmly, and I, I make it a point to let you know that, you know what I'm saying, I don't know who Mayweather's going to pick and, and all that kind of stuff, but if it is Cotto, then I don't want to see it, and then, you know what I'm saying, I say say the rest. I don't just say, oh, he's fighting Cotto, fuck everything else, and, you know what I'm saying, this shit sucks, and, you know what I mean? Like, I tell you, if this is the case, if this goes through, then this is how I'm going to feel on my channel, you know what I mean?
where you get some of these other channels and and people who make videos and shit. And another thing is, some of these motherfuckers only time they got a video with hits is when they talk about Mayweather Pacquiao. You know what I mean? Like they talk about Andy Lee or some shit, and the shit don't have no views. But they talk about Mayweather and Pacquiao put some crazy shit in the title that all of a sudden um, they might jog up some views that way. But it, man. The reckoning is coming. I hope this fight's announced. No more games. No more bullshit. Shout out to Pacquiao. Shout out to Mayweather um, for just being adult and, and trying to get this shit done, man. I don't give a fuck. Some of y'all want to do this old Pactar flomo. I'm a grown ass fucking man, man. I don't even care about none of that type of shit. But some of you guys want to point the finger and, and play the blame game. Still, I'm a boxing fan, man. I'm I'm past that. I don't care whose fault it is, and who did this, and who stalled the negotiations in this spot. The fact of the matter is, these two guys are boxing history, and they need to fight before they end their legacy sooner than later. But leave it to me to ro rub some salt in the wound, and I just find it very comical that we may get this announcement. And I say may, because I don't know. I'm not Mayweather, you know what I'm saying? So I can't tell you what will or won't happen, but... From what it sounds like, there's a strong possibility, for real this time, this fight will happen. And it's just so funny to hear all the naysayers that said, Floyd's scared, this won't happen, they're ducking each other, I'm not watching. And all this filth, Lauren and filth, and we may be on the verge of, of getting this announcement. So again, buckle up your seatbelt, stay tuned. I'm not Mayweather, I'm not TMT, I don't know his next move. I mean, Floyd could throw a monkey wrench in it and, and, you know what I'm saying, say something that nobody else expected, a wild card, if you will. I don't know. But what I do know is some of you guys are going to be backtracking because what you said then, a month ago, weeks ago, days ago, is no longer going to be valid if this fight is made. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Is this fight going to happen? Will it happen? Are you going to watch it? Do you take back... Just apologize, not to me, apologize to the boxing community. Because y'all said this shit wasn't going to happen. So if it does happen, I want that apology. Make some video responses. Apologize to the boxing public. <laughs> Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.